What's going on everyone? The temperature is getting dropping down week by week. Here in Pennsylvania, it could go below freezing temperature in October. One freezing night could break the pipelines in an RV. So I usually treat my RV before the first night of freezing. It is better safe than sorry. Let me show you how I winterize my RV. It is simple and costs less than $5. If your dealerships do it for you, it may cost $100. You need an air compressor. Large tank capacity is convenient for the job. No need high pressure. This blowout adapter is connected to the compressor with an air hose. One gallon of antifreeze for an RV and marine should be enough. Let's get started. Step 1. Open all the faucets in your RV. This helps to drain the water remaining in the pipeline and the tank efficiently. If you have an outside kitchen, open the faucets. Open all the faucets in the shower room including the shower handles. Also, empty the hot water tank. If the water in the tank is still very warm, release the pressure by pulling the pressure release valve. Once all the faucets are open, go ahead and open the fresh water drain valve. Also, open the low point drain valves located under belly of your RV. Once you see no water draining from the valves, make sure to close the valves. If the valves remain open, no pressure is going to build up in the plumbing system to flush out the water in the next step. Step 2. Go inside your RV and close all the faucets including the shower handles opened in the previous step. Place a bucket underneath the sewer pipe from the RV to catch the water. Then open the gray water valve. Install the blowout plug to the city water connection port just like you connect the hose to the port. Then connect the air hose from the air compressor to the blowout plug. Go ahead on turn on the compressor. Adjust the air pressure by turning the regulator valve. I set it at 40 psi. Once the plumbing system is pressurized, go ahead and open the faucet one at a time. Please do not open multiple faucets at a time. It reduces the pressure to flush out the water remaining in the plumbing system. Once no water is running and just air is coming from the faucet, close the faucet before moving on to the next faucet. Please don't forget to flush out the outside spray port. I broke my spray port last year as I forgot to treat mine. After flushing out all the water that remained in the plumbing system, go ahead and pour RV antifreeze into the U-trap. This will prevent the U-trap from being burst. Antifreeze will freeze in the cold temperature, however, the damage to pipes will not occur until the rating, minus 50 Fahrenheit or minus 100 Fahrenheit, or burst point is reached. One gallon of RV antifreeze should be sufficient to treat most of the RVs. The whole process should complete in half an hour or less depending on your RV size and configuration. Since the process is simple and quick, I don't mind doing this multiple times in a year if needed. I can do it and you can do it yourself. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe and thumbs up.